France's President Emmanuel Macron has made a U-turn on plans to criminalize videos of police following a weekend of protests over a video of three officers attacking a black man last month. Earlier today, Quick Take anchor Tim Stenevec spoke to Bloomberg reporter Anya Nussbaum about this situation. Why has Macron's government defended a law that makes it harder to share videos of police violence? Hi, that's a very good question. Uh, the government argues that police uh, is more subjected to harassment than in the past. And it's true that police forces have been under strain in the past few months. They've been enforcing the COVID lockdown, of course, but also um, they've been facing, you know, protests against Macron's pension reform, the Yellow Roots movement. So that, that's, that's all been very, very hard for them. That said, a lot of activists, legal experts and so on say that online hatred, uh, harassment against police forces is already prohibited in French legislation. That means um, there's another reason why the Macron, Macron's government has been pushing for this law. And the reason is that Macron is turning a, is taking a turn um, to the right ahead of the 2022 mm. presidential election with a renewed focus on law and order and also fight against terrorism and Islamism. So, so this law, uh, Article 24 of the Global Security Law, it would have made it a crime punishable by a year in prison and a, a 45,000 euro, that's about $54,000, that's a fine to publish the face or any other identifying feature of a police officer with intent to cause them physical or, or psychological harm. So it's not illegal per se to actually film a police officer, it's, it's, it's the intent about what you're going to do with that film, no? Absolutely. The government has been clear and has repeated that its intention is not uh, to ban uh, such videos or to prevent such videos from emerging. The intent is to protect police officers. So only videos that show an intent to harm them would, be, uh, would become an offense. Now you're joining us from our, our Paris Bureau. It comes at a time where, the, of course, COVID uh, positivity rate is incredibly high uh, in, in your city, in your country, uh, and then also a time of, of escalated tension between the police and, and, and protesters. Just give our viewers an idea of what life is like there right now. Um, I'd say we're waiting Christmas and holidays pretty eagerly because uh, Macron has said we will be allowed to travel to see our family and friends during that time. Domestic travel will be allowed. Um, and the atmosphere is quite heavy. Um, as you, you mentioned earlier, the protests um, um, during the weekend, uh, that was pretty harsh. Um, there were some violent outbursts. So, um, yeah, the atmosphere, atmosphere is heavy. All right. Bloomberg's Anya Nussbaum, live from our Paris Bureau. Thanks for your time and thanks for going into the office today to share that. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.